Does this ever happen to you? You strap on your favorite guitar or the one that has the perfect sound for this song, let go to pull back your hair or adjust your mic, and the head suddenly thinks it's a submarine. Dive, dive, dive. You've just been a victim of head dive, a.k.a. neck dive. Well, I have a permanent DIY solution that requires no modifications to the guitar. I've assembled some supplies from the Dollar Tree, some faux leather, although any durable material will work, a two-pound bag of aquarium rocks, and a package of shoelaces, but you can use any sturdy string you want. The faux leather comes in 11 and 3 quarter by 20 inch rolls. I pre-cut mine into a 10 inch square for this mod and mark the center. You'll need something to draw two large circles with. I made a string with loops 4 and a half and 5 inches from one end so I can make a 9 inch and a 10 inch circle. You can also use large bowls, paper plates, or whatever, but I'd recommend not using a compass. We'll get into why later. I'm going to draw two large circles, one half inch inside the other. How large you make them depends on how many rocks you think you'll need to counterbalance the neck. I went with 10 inches for the outer circle, since that's the size of my square, and I can always cut more off, but my fabric stretcher always seems to be broken. Cut the material to the outer circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, as we're just making a dice pouch. Now I fold the circle along the inner mark and poke holes directly across from each other through both layers so that I have eight evenly spaced holes through each layer. Next, I cut one of the larger and one of the smaller shoelaces in half since I'm going to need a few of these for different guitars and I'm cheap. I'm going to tie a fairly large loop in the smaller lace using a half knot. Here's why you don't want to use a compass to draw the circles. I put a starter stone in the center of the circle, pull up the material, and tightly tied the small shoelace half around the top. I finished the knot so it's nice and tight. Using a compass to draw the circles will make a hole in the center of the fabric, which may cause this stone to work out over time and fall out. I'm threading the longer lace through the holes in both layers of the cloth, making a pouch. I lightly tie the pouch to my guitar strap as close to the tail strap mount as is practical. Now you see what the starter rock is for. Then I add stones to the pouch one at a time until my guitar balances where I want it. Now I remove the pouch from the strap, pull the top tight, and tie it tightly. If you find you have more pouch than you need, you can always remove the rocks and cut some material off to make it smaller. Just make sure to leave enough so that you have two layers for the holes to provide reinforcement so the string doesn't tear out over time. I slip the pouch between the loop and the guitar strap, tie the loose ends of the pouch top string to the strap, then loop the loose ends of the pouch bottom string through the strap mount hole of the strap and tie them around the strap. Optimally, you'll want to dedicate a strap to this guitar so that you don't have to keep removing and replacing the counterbalance or keep track of which pouch goes with which unbalanced guitar, but you know what your resources are, so you do you. You want the pouch as close to the strap mount as possible, but not hanging out where it can bang against the guitar or swing around and provide a distraction while you're playing. If you don't have a loop in your guitar strap, for example, you have a custom or leather strap, you're a larger player or you play gunslinger style, you can always tie it to the outside of the strap, but you might want to secure it near the middle of the pouch so it doesn't swing around as you move. You can use more string, cable ties, rubber bands, whatever's handy that will last. That's it. Your guitar has officially been permanently cured of head dive. Well, as long as the pouch lasts anyway. You should periodically check the pouch for signs of wear and replace the material or laces as necessary. The good news? You can reuse the rocks indefinitely and the weight will always be perfect.